Welcome, welcome, welcome to this new video. This time I am going to continue talking about Clam AV. I created a video a couple of weeks ago and I showed you how you can download Clam for different operating systems and especially for Linux based operating systems. And you can do many things, right? It's a free or I should say, uh, open source type of solution they do also have a commercial version of that and it's nice you can download it in minutes and you're going to be able to do it and this was specially designed for linux because linux was a very secured operating system and then you know the more popular it got the um the more attacks that are developed against it and that's just that you know, the nature of, of business. So it is super useful, but if you can see, uh, this is the uh, help menu of Clam Scan or Clam AV. And if you're not familiar with command lines or if you just don't like them, there is another option. Back in the days, this is the only option we had using the command line interface to interact with the command and to create the cron jobs and to do everything we need to do. But there is a GUI that's going to be working uh, as, as part of the front interface of Clam AV, and it may, it may make your life easier if you prefer using a GUI versus using the, um, versus using the, uh, the command line. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing now. We're going to install Clam TK. And as I mentioned before, Clam TK is just the graphical front end of Clam AV so that you can use a GUI to interact with the application and configure the jobs that you want to configure. It's built for users who prefer clicking over typing. And to be honest with you, it may be easier to handle for many people and it's available in most Linux repositories, not all of them, but most of them. So in this case, I'm using Ubuntu and I don't have to add, update my repos to download it. So um, let me just go ahead and, and install it so you'll see how simple it is and then we're gonna go through the configuration. So what we're gonna do is sudo app install, you know, clam, TK and let's see that's going to do its magic and we're going to say yes and this is going to take a couple of seconds to install and once it is installed just find your app right just go through your apps and here it is clam TK and you know here it is like most of these options I'm not going to say most when it comes to command lines, one of the things I like about command line interface is that you have complete customizations of what you would like to do. Whereas when you are in a GUI base, you know, you're, you may not have the same flexibility. But let's explore the GUI. And if the GUI is enough for you, it's enough for you, right? You're golden. There's no reason to go back to the command line. So what you need to do first is make sure you go to the settings section. As you could see, the menu is super simple. If you go to settings, you're going to have the options of configuring the virus scanner. You can configure SPUA. Uh, you can enable to use uh, heuristic scanning. You can enable to scan the files beginning with a dot. Larger, you know, you can see the options in there. Honestly, if I were you, I just click them all and see how it goes. And then if there's something that is flagging any false positive, I create exclusions. And that's exactly what you would do here in whitelist. In whitelist, you're going to be able to whitelist specific directories or uh, the directories that you don't want to scan. Um, you know, and it makes a lot of sense if we go back. Uh, the network, you don't have to do anything unless you have a proxy that you're going through. Then you have to configure those settings. Uh, but if you don't, if you're not using that, you don't have to worry about it. And then the scheduler, and in here you can schedule to uh, run the uh, the jobs at, at a predetermined uh, time, right? And you can also, um, you know, antivirus signatures. The day, you know, when you you want to update the signatures, you could do it at. Uh, 
uh, one o'clock in the morning, I guess, or any time you would like to do that. Right, and then you just uh, an hour, one minute, and then you would uh, close this. So there's nothing in here. Well, anyway, I thought that you had an option to add it, but apparently you don't see that in here. But anyway, so there you go. You can also create a cron job right here in the command line and make your life easier. Then you're going to have the history. This is a brand new installation. There's nothing in here. Quarantine, if something is detected. Update, assistance. You know, it's super simple. Actually, there's nothing advanced in this GUI. It just makes your life simpler. Instead of looking at this and, and get the jobs done, you may be able to do the same thing from the GUI if you prefer. If the GUI does not provide what you're looking for, hey, you know, be my guest. You're going to have everything. All the options are right here for you to configure. And obviously, to scan a file or a directory, that's what you would do. If you want to scan a directory, just select the directory, click on OK, and that's going to do its magic. So uh, I'm going to cancel this. So thank you for watching this video. If you found this, informa this information useful, all I ask you to do is to click on the like button consider subscribing to the channel and also consider leaving a nice comment in the comment section because that helps with the algorithm. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you on the next video.